My name is Nicola Spilk and I won the gold medal at the Olympics in London and the silver medal at the Olympics in Rio four years later. I'm Reed Hook, European champion, vice world champion and three times part of the Olympic Games. My first competition was uh, outside of school. I was 16 and uh, to me it was the start of a, of a long journey with, with triathlon. My uncle and my father did triathlon for fun, so when I was 10 years old I thought I would try triathlon as well and that was my first race. It happened in a little town nearby and we swam in a little lake and there were lots of fish in that lake and my main concern was that the fish would bite my feet when I was swimming because I wasn't used to swimming in the open water so that was a real challenge for me. My most emotional moment in sports, I think, was definitely in London at the Olympic Games 2012 when I won the gold medal. It's just amazing to win such a huge race and to stand on the podium and listen to the national anthem. Nicola has, a, as an athlete, really, uh, she's gifted that way that she not just has the body, she also has the mind to be on a top level. My husband, Reto, he was also trying to qualify for the Olympics in London. It would have been his fourth Olympics and a nice finish, a nice end to his career. Unfortunately, he didn't qualify even if it was very close. And I am still extremely thankful that he could put this disappointment for him uh, behind him so quickly and support me 100% at the race, be there for me and be happy for me when I had such a huge success. Reflecting on it, we both said it was um, helping Nicola winning in London that I was not selected and, and for me, to be honest, it, it was a, a great feeling to be that close. I could focus um, on Nicola and help her till the end, and if I would have been on the start line, it would be not be possible. I think Reto is an amazing athlete. I was always looking up to him as a junior. I um, think I had a good career, but I could have done more in the beginning of my career. I could have worked more. I always liked racing more than uh, training. My worst moment in my career, I think, was when I broke my hand in the first race of the season 2016. It was only a few months before the Olympics in Rio, so I didn't know if I could recover quick enough to make it to the Olympics. The time when Nicola broke her hand, it was a difficult time uh, for her, but the way she was handling, it was just perfect and really professional. And uh, looking back, I was surprised that uh, she was taking it that controlled and not emotional and looked at it and uh, really professional. Rita was helping me a lot when I broke my hand. He, ha he even helped me tie my shoelaces when I couldn't do that in the beginning. And of course, he was with our son when I had to train and he supported me all the way on the way back to Rio. If I could change something about Reto, it would probably be that he is more on time. Especially in the beginning of our relationship, he was always a bit late. Sometimes she gets lost uh, driving her car and even she has been there multiple times and uh, she doesn't know where to go. And 
I don't know how that happened, but uh, yeah, if I could change it, it would be nice. Reto is the tidy one. He's cleaning up more. Um, he's putting things away more, so maybe that's the reason why he's late sometimes. She puts stuff in my throw and, and uh, starts to squeeze in everything. That's uh, something I would change. I first met Reto at some races. I was a European Championships in Madeira, in Portugal, and I became junior European champion and Reto became elite European champion. So I was extremely impressed by him becoming the big elite European champion. The first time I um, asked Nicola sort of a date, it was when we were in a training camp and uh, in Samaritz, and uh, we went to uh, have dinner together. I don't exactly remember who gave the first kiss, if it was Rito or me, but I mean, it also needs two persons always to kiss. It was me that gave her the first kiss, and uh, yeah, it was just amazing. Rito was asking me to marry him in a very nice hotel. We had a few days of holidays, and he was in the Italian part of Switzerland. We enjoyed some time together. We went out eating pizza and then when we came back our room was all like um, uh, there was all the roses and the nice candles and he proposed to me there which was very nice. I definitely think Nicola has uh, two sides. She has the, the focus being a serious side on, on the sports. Uh, and then the really nice, caring, loving family uh, side that we as a family enjoy. Our son, Yanis is now three and a half years old, so still quite young. He likes to, to move, so he likes riding his bike or running around, but we are just happy for him to find something he really likes to do. Doesn't need to be triathlon at all, doesn't even need to be sports, if he likes something like music more. Of course, he has seen uh, mommies doing uh, the running and swimming and the biking and he also likes riding his bike. He also likes being in, in the water and uh, we will support him as long as he's uh, doing um, something really with, with sense and uh, it makes sense to him and he, he, he likes it. This one is a really, really nice place. Yes, very nice place. It's actually you place from uh, <laughs> from the Olympics. Yeah. We married in the zoo. In the zoo, yes, with uh, all the animals and uh, had a lot of snow. Yeah, outside, but outside. in the hall it was very nice and warm in the jungle hall. So we remembered us on our journeys and travels. Mm -hmm. And just the perfect way we want it. Yes. And now we have a very cute little boy, which is, who is already three and a half years old. And soon we're gonna have a bigger family. Second baby, yes. He's yep. getting born on at the end of May, hopefully. And I think we are very lucky. We are really lucky to have uh, this kind of life and mm -hmm. uh, the whole family.